And we waited 42 minutes for a cold hot dog. And at that price, you should be able to customize a sandwich, especially at a Vail resort. There's been a fair amount of negative sentiment. It was supposed to be just lunch. Instead, a Park City resident has turned this cold $9 hot dog, a cold $9 hot dog, into an example of what he says is poor management at Park City Mountain Resort. And he's not the only one. No, the ski area, which is owned by Vail Resorts, is getting blasted from many sides. Here's Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle. <laughs> and we waited 42 minutes for a cold hot dog. And the parts that should be warm were cold, and the parts that should be cold were warm. But Michael Kaplan says this isn't really about a $9 hot dog. So let's back up. I had a bunch of uh, house guests here, and uh, we decided to ski Park City. But there was no parking to be found. Uh, several of the key lifts weren't running. Huge lines, terrible grooming, and uh, we didn't have a good experience, so we decided to go and have lunch. That's when Kaplan waited to buy the hot dog at a mid-mountain lodge. Kaplan can see the slopes of Park City Mountain Resort from his house. So this is their quit and time run. And has taught ski resort management courses at universities in Utah and abroad. Now I'm teaching in Amsterdam with 17 different countries in my class. He sees that hot dog as a symbol of how Park City Mountain Resort's owner, Vail Resorts, has failed to invest in the property. We need some lifts coming out of the town. We need better parking facilities. They're letting down their own employees with lack of housing and lack of pay. It's just been a, a Vail fail. Veil fail has become a viral hashtag for other critics who post videos like this, showing lawn lift lines at Park City Mountain Resort in December. We went to lunch and we ordered a sandwich, a $19 sandwich, and they told me that I couldn't take two items off of it and customize it because customizations weren't allowed. I think we all respect the challenges of COVID, um, but I think we also have to respect the dollar that people are spending, and especially during COVID. In 2018, a season pass to all of Vail's resorts could be purchased for about $700. Since then, Vail has been reducing the price, down to less than $600 for the current season if you bought early. Vail does not disclose resort-specific data, so we don't know precisely what impact the past prices have had on Park City. But the town is setting sales tax revenue records every month, and the Utah Department of Transportation data for January showed almost as many cars entering the town as January's before the pandemic, even though the other traditional big draw for that month... So there were a lot of stories that were not getting told. The Sundance Film Festival remained virtual. And if people are having a bad experience and aren't coming back in the future, that reflects directly on our economy and our reputation. We will just flip the presentations and we'll start with uh, Mike Gore. Park City Mountain Resort's Chief Operating Officer, Mike Gore, attended last week's town council meeting. He said the number of ski visitations are similar to recent years, but that the nationwide labor shortage has closed some lifts and slowed food service. Council members relayed their constituents' frustrations about skiers crowding the slopes. It feels like there's a lot more people. It feels a little less safe out there. But this time last year, I skied like 18 days. I skied twice. You know, because it's not only is like it hasn't snowed very much, but I really just don't want to deal with all the things that I'm seeing or hearing. I've heard more locals say this year, come up to you and just say, I don't think I'll ever buy a pass at Park City again. And spilling into Park City. It's feeling like our residents can't get to and from the services they need on the weekends. Park City Mountain Resort wants to add more condos, lodging, and restaurants. Opponents of the development have used the ski and culinary problems to encourage the town council to say no to further development. Our leverage with Vail is going to be the development of the base area. So that's where we should step in and just say, if you want to develop it, we need you to do these best practices. We asked Gore, the resort's chief operating officer, about the problems. There's been a fair amount of negative sentiment driven by some really challenging staffing issues that we've had this year that we're working through. 
and uh, but it's impacted the amount of terrain and lifts that we've had open this season. I don't think there's an issue with $9 cold hot dogs. Um, I don't deny that someone showed up with the picture of that. We talked to our teams about the experience the guest had. Uh, that isn't normal. Um, I've not heard a story like that. Gore said the development project has nothing to do with the problems the town wants to solve. It's a great project that will be an enhancement. It has a number of workforce housing units in it. In Park City, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.